blood-stained walls cover this historic storefront downtown Portland, once admired for its avant-garde design and pure gold facade. Well, this is the Charlesburg building downtown. Sandwiched between three other vacant lots on Southwest Broadway, this four-story, 20,000-square-foot building, now a squatter's paradise. And they were living here for a couple of weeks before we noticed. Denise Prohoski is the broker behind the listing. So this room was completely cleaned and emptied, as is the whole, the entire building was completely spotless, you know, and ready for tours and showings and things like that. But um, they were obviously doing like active drug use uh, throughout. You can see each of them kind of chose a bedroom and they each had their like their stuff in the in bedrooms throughout the building, like in our office spaces. It's been empty and on the market for a few years now. We've got a 30% vacancy rate. Uh, it changes these buildings and that no one's here to take care of them. The asking price, 3.75 million. I feel a lot of empathy for the building owner. Uh, he's already lost a million on this and he's probably gonna lose another million before it's all said and done. Since repairing all this damage will be costly. I've never had a commercial property that's been broken into and lived in by people that were on drugs. The smell of urine is so strong, you can almost taste it. Now, given the state of this building, a regular cleaning company just won't do. So they'll have to hire a biohazard team instead. I don't even want to touch this stuff. Here's the loaded needle in here. I just found it. Late last month, Portland police raided the building and arrested nine people for trespassing. Brohoski is still cautious. It makes me afraid that somebody's still in here. It's a big building. And there's doors that are locked in here that I can't get into, and I don't know why they are. This is what happened. Uh, right above this is the hot water heater, and it flooded out the ceiling and the ceiling tiles. Through all the destruction, she fights to find a silver lining in a crisis bleeding its way through Portland. I can talk about the history of this building all day long. I can talk about the history of downtown and how much, how vibrant it was and how it's changed and it will change again. It will get better and that it is an opportunistic market right now. Like it really is the time to buy right now. Um, but other than that, there's, you know, there's no smoke and mirrors. It just, it is, it is what it is.